When Lithuania joined the Eurozone on January 1st, it marked a big change. And not just for the people exchanging litas for euros. The entire power balance of the Eurozone shifted. That's because Lithuania's central bank will become a member of the ECB, bringing the number of represented countries to 19. But there are only so many seats on the bank's governing council. Lithuania's arrival has triggered a rotation system. The five biggest economies, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and the Netherlands, now must share four seats. The bottom 14 countries will divide the remaining 11 voting rights among themselves. The six members of the executive board, including Mario Draghi, as well as Sabina Lautenschlager, a quantitative easing critic and a German, have permanent votes. But it means that Jens Weidmann, the president of the Bundesbank, won't be able to say nine to any QE votes in May, and then again in October of 2015. Lithuania's top banker won't have a say in March, April, and May. But for any decision this October, Lithuania, whose economy is 2% the size of Germany's, will have a vote. The German Bundesbank won't.